anyway, this is the stuff I use for fishing for sunfish. Um, first thing are the hooks, the Cricut size 8 eagle claw hooks. And then I have split shot sinkers size 7. Foam bobbers like this. And then worms. And of course, I have my Zepco 33 fishing reel. This is how I tie my hook on. Um, I make a square knot for tying this on. And you want to tie it around maybe two or three times. So, and then to test if it's working or not, you just hook it against something and kind of pull on it. I'm going to use my scissors to cut off my line. Okay. Then I'm going to put my weight, sorry, sinker, um, about a couple inches above the hook. Then I just pinch it down there and clamp it down with the pliers just to make sure it stays on. And then I put my bobber about a foot and a half above the hook. So now I'm going to put the worm on. So what you can do sometimes for sunfish have a fairly small mouth. You can do you can pinch the worm in half and you thread it on you put it on through once twice you can do it. I don't, it doesn't really matter how many times you do it. I like to do it like that to make it kind of look like braided on there, and then the sunfish has to grab the hook to it to get the Okay, so now that you have your uh, you, your sample tackled up, um, you want to find a place that sunfish like, like a pier on a lake or a pond somewhere. They like places like that. I guess it's a good place for them to spawn sometimes. So. Okay, so you want to watch your bobber. Once it goes under, then you set your hook. Sunfish. You can tell by the spot on its dorsal fin that it's a bluegill. You notice how I'm pinching over its gills. Kind of like paralyzes it so it doesn't move. You get the hook out. Keep your hand away from their dorsal fin because it's really spiky. So that's how you catch a sunfish. Hope you learned something.